Um, this is Prince of Persia, the rogue Prince of Persia, the new game developed by the Dead Cells DLC devs. And it's another 2D one. We just had the Lost Crown, which was a good Metroidvania. Now we're having a roguelite 2D game from them. And this is a... Um, so this is this menu that I have. It's an early access version, and it looks like it... This is this is the first menu that I see. There's no like flashy design. Nothing like what do you want to do here? This is spe specifically streamer demo. They said, uh, but that's cool. Play. Man, my X key is getting toasted. On oh, my uh, PlayStation, I mean DualSense controller. Everyone has heard of the Prince of Persia. Hero of the people, proud warrior, immortal. But few remember the war that he accidentally triggered. After unleashing the anger of the formidable Huns, the prince found himself powerless against their shamanic magic. He woke up three nights later with his trusty bola around his neck. So this is the story I'm going to tell you today. Evil Empire. They don't look too evil, do they? We're here too, says Ubisoft. Don't forget us. I wouldn't call Lost Crown 2.5D. No, no, no. That's still 2D with 3D environments. That's different. No time to lose. I have to stop the hunch before they reach the city. There's even accessibility options straight away. That's good. That's good. Apple. Oh, I heard rumblings in my pocket. The art style is interesting. It's got the Zell shade styling. But he looks like a cartoon character. In a way, also. <laughs> you refuse to buy anything, Ubisoft. That is your choice. And I totally understand. I, as I just said, having them release The Lost Crown and this one now. Well, they developed... The Lost Crown, this is just published, but... I, as I said earlier, credit where credit is due. Oh, you climbed this... Ooh. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. My controller is rumbling. Um, no, please. Prince's sack. <laughs> That's funny, because I'm too... Um, off rumble. There's no D pad movement, though. The D pad seems to be just for other menu items. Jump it off again, okay. A decent tutorial segment at least. But what up here? Not for me, not now. I've escaped La Milana. Well, I didn't complete it, but for now I have. So much smoke, it's too late! And the Huns attack the city. But the uh, our people, I have hope I managed to get them out. Press square here, but I guess he jumped down instead, so. <laughs> it 
<laughs> That's my special attack. Whoa. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's not running smoothly. I don't know why. Um, we could try to take off the V-Sync and have no limit. There might be some issues with the frame rate setting. Like, sometimes games don't really understand what they're trying to do in terms of those frame rate settings. This also could be because of my... Um, Like monitor setup. Curious is how brutal this game will be. Probably not too brutal. It's Prince of Persia, and they don't. I don't think Prince of Persia games necessarily are very brutal and gory. So it would be weird if they did it. Dodge the threat. Threat suppressed. Nice dodge, we just immediately got my ass. <gasps> Nani, interact. Hold on, I'll get you out. My prince! At last you're here. Only you can save Persia. Stay with me, I'll take you somewhere safe. Ah, oh, please. Oh, hi. I saved you, and you and every person who's died in this fight. My faithful Bola, I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Yeah, that seemed to make it run faster, or like run more smoothly at least, so. Some awkward setting somewhere there. See you later. Enemies become stunned when they run into each other. Okay, well. Who's gonna run into who at this point? Um, tutorial segment incomplete. <laughs> I mean, unless that would have been him, but that was awkward. A temporary retrieve from uh, reprieve from La Milana. Not very much needed right now. I'm actually pretty good in La Milana currently. Your highness, grab hold of me. Oh, I can't. What happened to your arm? The shamanic magic. Hold on. Huh? Oh, no, sir. This is very like everybody's so sincere in this game. Oh, so sad. Everybody said, "Are oh, you do?" Oh no, I'm dying. Oh no, I'm also sad. This is all my fault. What are you? Oh no, everybody's dying around me. I just bought ice cream and it's all melted even before I could eat it. Oh, it's all so sad. Pixelated, cute. Find other worlds of dreams to fast travel. Diving attack! That was not a diving attack. I see. That's the other one, so you just. Okay, yeah, very dead Celsi there. There's a few hop, skips, and jumps between the frames. Uh, royal sword or whirling spear? Bonus of enemies burning. That's not gonna happen. Well, it's the same here, I guess. So. Frontal blows mark enemies. Series of quick, devastating attack. Oh, it's bigger range. Oh. Hmm. 
that'll do for now. Oh, I have to go? No, it's okay. Oh, he's like shielded. Or. Yeah. I keep thinking it's a normal dodge, but it's like a, you dodge over him. Which is like going over his he head kind of a deal. Shop. Blessing restores health. Anahita. Uh. Stealth Assault. So that's a skill, isn't it? I'm broke. Screw this shop. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Kicks are ineffective against shields. You can push the shit out of the training wheels on him. It'd be cool to get out of the tutorial because I wonder like the difficulty curve and everything of this game. It's extremely sandy. <laughs> who'd, have, who'd have thought? Sound effects are still going apeshit. see it oh <laughs> this is already feels like the the kind of dead cell stuff yeah i haven't played dead cells in like forever um but i remember even though how smooth the movement in dead cells was like the this whole thing is very typical like you, you're just jumping and like wait i'm attaching this one let me go down and like oh wait okay he's just gonna i'm just gonna run up okay i'm, I'm running up now i never intended to run up now this like it's the um overly smart movement sometimes that can ca catch you off guard. I remember there was some... Um, this is early on, though, like, when before Dead Cells was released. Um, whenever I tried to, like, jump down a small gap, like a little pitfall, I always tried to, like... You had to be very, very narrow in your movement because as soon as you moved any left or right, he would just automatically grab onto the side of the platforms. This is a smart grab. It's like, no, 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 just fall, fall, fall. Try to falling, try falling. I don't want to fall, I don't want to. This is dangerous. What if I fall on my toes and I break my little feet? I know, but you need to try. A hero. We have to get you out of here. You need medical help. The only way is... Oh, we need to take care of your injuries first. You must... Destroy... Soldier, can you hear me? Uh, I'm like right in front of their face. He's right. No point in lingering here. The bottom right seems pretty good. Let's go there instead. Enhance. Enhance the warrior in the screen. We have enhanced the warrior of the screen. It's me. I am warrior. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa, okay. I see. Down to heal. I only have the one heal, though. Aqueducte. Apparently, there's only two biomes so far. Hold on. Microphones. Once through the city gates, the prince looked over the extent of the damage. The Huns had taken the entire city in less than three days. Fourth day, afternoon. 
Afternoon. Hello, hello. Okay, so it's a refreshing place. Yummy, yummy. Slide with duct. I am the warrior, you know that. Title drop, yep. They love their title drops. And now is this like a normal stage kind of a deal? <laughs> the sound effects do not stop compared to the music. It always happens. There was one game we recently played which actually had the reverse thing happening. What was that one? Was it a Yuden Chronicle? I can't remember. Whoa, 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 spikes. Yeah, that's right, that was spikes. I just told you. He's like, I don't think I didn't get the idea. I didn't tell you to tell me. There's no hold to heal. Alright. Can I climb this? No, but I can do that. So I'm playing the roguelite stages now at this point, maybe? Maybe. Ooh, ooh, careful. This, this takes some getting used to. His ability to be so climb beyond the walls and then jump afterward. And then do that. No, you go. Okay, I guess left is better. <laughs> oh, sacrifice chamber. 250. I have a lot. And I got the Whirling Spear again, but at least it's a higher rank, level 7 instead. Hey, Crudis. Squishy. Two sections down the boss. Very good. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Bonus if the damage is a raisin. <laughs> if the enemy is a raisin, I do increase damage. That's one of the strongest things in roguelite history. As... <laughs> What are you? Ah, I'm a prune! Mm, close, but no cigar. I'll have to leave you. Oh. What was that? Ah, wow, Jesus Christ. I was expecting the damage to be way higher because of the startup, but no. Help me with health, please. I am dying. 900 cash. I mean, I guess... Unheat is blessing could help out. Chakram. Dice that slices it, but it's a... Comp oh yeah, I forgot about the bow! I forgot about the bow! We can buy the bow? We can buy the bow. I mean the chakram. There we go. Like the whole different gimmick from Dead Cells just feels to me like the you can climb on every wall kind of a deal. I mean, it's it's different than itself, but that's like the the main gimmick. It's like you can just climb walls. We just goes down the thing. My 
hearing a weird noise. A little mini chirp. It could be a bird outside. But it also sounds like something hardware like failing. It could be that the bird's hardware is failing. <laughs> He's overheating. It's nasty. It's nasty trying. Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia. Chakram a little shot. That's good enough. I'd say the game is pretty smooth. Just to get to get some, uh, take some time getting used to the movement um, of the game. It's point proven. So you have one jump off from the um, off from the wall. You could not hit stun him. So you can like always jump, choose to climb later, and then make another jump. You can slide. If it goes on for too long, you'll just end up sliding. You still jump for the distance. If you run up walls, you can do so for a fair bit. And then you can like jump side and then still climb after you jump the wall from the thing. Another whirling spare, but just barely better. I'm gonna have to say no. What's this one? Huh? Whirling spare? Whirling spare. Purchase a reroll? What are you what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Purchase question mark recycle Are you recycling my weapon? A purchase a sell? We have to try it. I have no idea what I did, but I did it twice. Did I change to be point I ch oh I changed the modifiers, probably. I used all my money to do that. That's great. It's probably a good idea. That was probably a really good investment. Sh pretty sure about that one. That was pretty... It was great. You see some of the loading in the area. It takes some little extra time to do. Oh, come on. Not getting like hits done on the enemies at all. I mean, I'm just so used to getting the hits done recently in my games. And the dodges takes some getting used to. It's like it's not a roll in a way. It's just like it's just over their head, so you have no other dodge function. Seems other than that. Like, Jesus. Whoa, what is the <laughs> I, for some reason, thought it was going to hit me down there as I jumped. Death. Impossible, for his bowler protects him. Hezbollah. It turns back time and takes the prince to a safe place. He is a sole witness to this cycle. All he can do now is start anew. Try again. Until he finds a way to save his kingdom. I'm back at the oasis. Nothing broken. Looks like my bola is working properly. But it didn't bring me back at the right moment. 
three days in the city once the first invaded. The other one was four... four days. Hmm? Oh, you're finally on your feet. You've been in bed for three days, child. I remember this conversation. My bola didn't bring me back to the time before the Han invasion. Everything good? You look a little lost. Huh. I'm so emo. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better, Shukra. Thank you for accommodating me at your oasis. Nothing strange about that. You were in pretty rough shape when I freed you. But I have to keep it together to find a solution. Their king must surely be in our palace by now. If I can defeat him, the Huns will be forced to surrender. That's biting up more than you can chew, even for you, kid. Remember the state you were in after your first encounter. It's no time to quit, Sukra. Okay, well, good luck then, I guess. Bye-bye. It's the sands of time. It's turning back time. It's the inf effectively immortal because time is crucial. So I gotta get used to not using this. I guess I can hit him from there, but... Using this kind of stops my movement a little bit. I can run past enemies. I would love it if I could just dash. Maybe I just you can unlock a dash later on. Like a skill. Hey, go Dappy. You think that the, your property manager would like me to try out the sweet moves of this prince in my room? <laughs> Slide on the walls. Ooh, and you make that big scratch it just does. Yeah, that's the one. Ooh, that's the one, isn't it? Ooh, can you try this out on the wall, Godappy? That's a good one. That's a nice one. You can leave a permanent mark. That's your mark, right? That's what that is. Lord. Zagara's village. It's so quiet here. Seems like everyone's gone. Well, I've never seen this type of medallion before. Hmm. I feel great power resonating within. This is a, uh, a ability, I guess. Kicking an enemy against the wall sets fire to the area. Medallions are powerful items that can trigger various effects that pay on the prince's situation and actions. <gasps> Medallions can be found in various chests, shops, and forms of collectibles, and as rewards for defeating bosses. Can I, can I carve a silly, maybe, you could carve a little ding-dong. I will put it on... Oh, interesting. Uh... It upgrades my other slots. That could, that looks fun. Burn. Can I burn? Hello. Kick. It needs to be in the wall. Ow! Dude, what the hell, man? What was the point of- that was like- that hurt, man. I'm the hero. Do you do? Definitely the soundtrack is going yeah, ham. I like it. Pick up. Just, just a free pickup. Yeah, that's right. Not getting the same privilege, my dude. Ha! Ah, he's burning. Can I shoot up? Maybe.
You shoot through the wall? So as long as the enemies are not there, I do get my dash, my dodge. <clears throat> More flames. Running along a wall above a marked enemy sets fire to the area. Sticky commotion. Let's just do this. And it says two upgrade medallions. You can use medallions to upgrade your currently equipped medallions. These upgraded are represented by a green arrow icon. You can replace one equipment with another. However, any upgrades linked to this will be destroyed. So now I upgrade... Interesting stuff. Huh. This is also there? Okay. It's only four slots, but it's interesting how that's trying to do stuff. Hey, Lars. I am uh, having a good day. It's not been much of a day so far, but... So far, I can't complain. The game is working. I am streaming. I'm feeling okay. So if I, I just, I come on. What is the point? Can I shoot up? I cannot. Yeah, and I'd rather just get the dash behind him instead of taking the whoop, <laughs> whoop approach, you know what I'm saying? It does it anywhere automatically. the money seems to uh, tack on to me, which is good. A 360, this is poison. Well, that's not gonna work out. Still for sword. So that changes that one. Okay. Whirling Spear again. Ooh, look. Whirling Spear again. We'll get a better one. I'm just... We're gonna buy the... Buy the heels. Hello? My prince! Is that there? What are you doing here? You didn't really think I'd abandon my village so quick, my prince. <laughs> but the Huns. I can defend myself and the young cat doesn't scare me. I've got everything I need with me. You should still be careful, that's that there. I'll present what we built to the death, if need be. I'll do my best not to let it come to that. The Hun camp. Oh, I was a prisoner here until Sukra feed me. F feed me. Until Sukra came in with the hamburger. I was dead, lonely, hungry. But on the hamburger, it helped. I didn't feel lonely anymore. I had me, Patty, and some uh, cheese. It all made it okay. The Hunburger. <laughs> hey, Trout. Hey, Van Buren. They're like always sitting and luring, man. You didn't even hit him? Stop it. I've applied some resin. Here's some fire and poison. At least it doesn't hurt me. How did I apply the resin to them? Give up. Um, stunned enemy applies resin. Let's 
That's not against the wall, though, is it? But it's a marked enemy. Could I mark the enemy with this basic dagger? Uh, marks and stuns those with less than 50%. Apparently. You like the look of this better? It is a... Stop. I gotta find a way to deal with that guy. Oopsie daisies. Hey, Seraphim. Whoa, that's true. He's blue. Go away, doggy. Go away, doggy. That'll fit you better. That's a lot of them. I wonder if I get any invulnerability frames or something. No. Ah! Okay. <laughs> no! No! Stop it! All these different buttons pressing down. Did I just press down on him? What happened there? Grinded his head again. Yeah. I do not enjoy, for the moment, the whole jumping, like, the... Let me on top of your head and flip over. Like, you already gave me a dash. Like, I'm I'm one to use my dash. But as soon as you get to an enemy, he's just going to... Ba -boing, ba -boing. What is that? What is the baboingo, man? I don't want the baboingo. Just give me the dash. It automatically searches again. And his man. The final area of. Oreo, Oreo 2 now, Lars, thanks. Very different art style, yeah. I like that it just went with, we're all just pink now. That was your problem. <laughs> New equipment. Equipment chests. You will come across equipment chests during your attempts. Those contain new equipment which once found can be crafted at the Oasis. Okay. Spear is bonus if the enemy is poisoned. Throwing the spear piercing the marks enemies. Excuse me. What about letting me leave after I got the chests? No, you have to jump out perfectly. That didn't even seem... That didn't even look possible. What the hell? <laughs> what? Okay. What? <laughs> Thanks, man. This is a nice area. Here's a jumping quest puzzle thing. Um, If you make it, you can't leave. But you get a nice chest. Like, what the hell? I can't stand on these. With a dash, it was enough. 
just let me go at that point. Aqua Fest. Let's go to the Aqua Fest. Yeah, let's try to the Aqua Fest. Climbing the back, I think, is a fun idea. It is, and it's definitely a gimmick that they're going for, like a big, big old uh, pulling effect to make it original. What a strange glimmer seems to be connected to the Huns. It's pink. I've gotten five zero glimmer. You spend spare glimmers at the Oasis to unlock new items that you can use in future attempts. It's like dead cells. You can. When you're going through levels, you can obtain spirit glimmers, either in the form of collectibles or when they are dropped by defeated enemies. I'm glimmering. What is this? I feel a certain glimmer. Ah! Crazy. Nobody wants to be there. You definitely get used to the movement. I still don't like the the Oingo Boingo. This thing. It's like the thing is, when you have this on the same button, everybody loves a good dodge, right? But as soon as you hit somebody, hey, whoop, whoop. Like, no, let me go the distance, and then I can uh, attack cancel into my other things. What is this, like, automated oingo? You know? So that's the only complaint so far about the controls that I... That's, like, that seems intentional, but I just don't care for it. Oh, I hit him to the other side. <laughs> I excuse me, sir. Ah, how cute! How nice of you to stand. Let me see. Let me inspect this. No, I can't. I can't do anything. I can't dodge him. Okay, there it is. <laughs> A little oopsie there, I think. As long as he's got the edges, like, yeah, you're you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're not gonna... You're, you have to go to the side. Killing an enemy affected by status restores HP. Ooh. Uh, I have the kick on the wall thing. I will have to... I can just put it here, okay. 60. Now I need to kick them to the walls. To get my HP back. Prince of Boingo. I am the prince of the Huns. Also the prince of the Oingo Boingo. I've been waiting for this moment for very long. Did I press it? Yeah. Wah! That, that caught me off guard. <laughs> oh no, stop! Stop! Okay. First aid. No, I need you to go against the wall so I can heal. Okay, this is not. No, against the wall, please. Against the wall, so you... 
I guess they can't burn because they're sitting in water. How typical. That was my chance. Well, I'm dying. Um, get a better spear, I guess. Or just upgrade my spear. It's very expensive. Stop it. I'm doing good. 39 HP. I got my oil goes going. And... Okay. <laughs> I pressed the wrong... I was going to kick him to the wall. And I wasn't happy. And I... That was... It was GG at that point. It'd be nice to get a block. Why didn't my bullet send me back before the Huns invaded? It would have been so much easier. Maybe I can find the shield. Hey, you're awake. Sukra, look what I found. What? How oh, did you? The Huns make these glimmers. Maybe it's the source of their power. Interesting. Maybe we could use it to forge weapons. Hmm. Oh, please. You're the best smith I know. The smartest and most skillful, too. All right. All right. Save your praise for later and give me that. I have a few ideas already. Spend your glimmers to get your things. This looks like a new ground. <laughs> this is like a new ground setup. I mean, it is what it is. I just feel like I'm playing like a flash game. Um, when it's close up like this. When it's zoomed out, it's like, okay, Macromedia couldn't go that far. But when we're in the UIs, it's like, I'm just on Newgrounds playing a good, uh, a good reviewed game. I would love a, a shield or a parry function, though. That would be very cool in this one. Whoa, it's the, it's the dingus again. I am just have to shoot this guy. He gave me a glimmer. I'd have to learn when I can continue my combos, when it resets, and when I'm having, like, these moments of hero doesn't want to press a button, sorry. Maybe I get... No, I can't invulnerable. Thought maybe I could try to invulnerability thing it. What if he's red? Can that work? Nope. If he spins, he wins. Is there another way to deal with you, sir? Except for me having to, like, shoot you? Well, I guess I have a big enough arc with that weapon. Age of four. Flash games, you missed them. There's, there are, at least they are there, man. There's even like, uh, like collections and stuff. On, oh, uh, there's like Kiwi something. Ninja Kiwi collection on Steam and all that jam. Also slightly weird, it's not, this is a very small deal because you can probably change the hotkeys anyway, but having to like enter rooms out or activate stuff by pressing up on the d-pad, that's just like a, that's a flow destroyer. I 
this I'm afraid of this guy. <laughs> because you'd have to remove your finger from the I tried, but the Jesus Christ. Um You'd have to always remove your finger from moving. So you have to whenever you want to interact with something, you have to like okay, let me just press, press the D-pad, then you go back to the stick. It's weird that considering we have so many free buttons, we have L1 not used, L2. What is what the hell is this? Oh, that's the wall climbing, yeah? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> L1 and R2 is is out. And then I don't know if yeah, triangle does that. Okay, yeah, so they have that. It just seems weird to have to interact with everything on like stopping. Just press the triangle button would be better or something like that. Like of course you can change. But uh Tabar new new thing here. Well can't afford it. But you're here, so... I just want a little bit more cash. My prince, what? As are they? Everything good on your end? Well, yeah, I'm not letting those miserable hands get in the way of a good night's sleep. Perfect. You've reassured me. Hey, you should be careful, too. We only got two princes, you know. Good talk. Very good talk. Nice. <laughs> Did that again. No, shoot that. Okay, good. I guess you don't have a time limit, so you can actually take it slow. Right, unless they actually add in like the the time doors, but it's always fun to play fast. I swear, this guy. What my? What is the strategy? There's some weird choices in terms of the movement and what what's going on, I gotta say. And, I mean, the game is releasing on the 14th. That's 10 days from now. I wonder if they're gonna have, like... I mean, oh, they're probably already access releasing it. That's true. I don't know for sure about this one. It's interesting. We'll see, though. But I'm not, I'm not falling in love with it yet, at least. Hey, ball wizard man, how you doing? It's, it feels like it's focused more on like trying to nail a style than, than really nailing the smooth gameplay in my mind. Oh, he missed me there. Can you aim up here? There you can. It has an interesting art style. And that's exa exactly the thing. It feels like almost like maybe... Like this is... We got a cool style going on. We developed some Dead Cells stuff. But you gotta remember guys. This is not made by the Dead Cells devs. This is made by the people that made DLC for Dead Cells. Because Dead Cells, they're busy making uh, the other game that's coming out soon as well. So they know what they're doing, but uh, they're not the foundations. But it's pretty good.
But I really would like if I just could have my dodge instead of just like, whoop. Because there, for example, there, this is a perfect example. If I would have just gotten my dash, the same button dash, the dodge, but he goes, boingo, boingo, boing. Stop. You're killing yourself because you're doing oingo, boingo. Hey, you're finally up. Uh, no time. Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of bed. No, no, it's just that. Don't make so much noise, kid. Someone showed up while you were recovering. What? What are you talking about? Go see for yourself. I'm not just talking nonsense here. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Across mountains of forest to race through, leave more homeland behind me. Is it not possible? I've never even seen you, and there's no way you could be here. Now, I mean. Don't worry, friends, just like the rest of all. And I've already answered all your questions. Good luck, Chad. If I leave, will you still be here with all your friends? With all your memories, I mean? Of course, I don't think the first person, eh? I would. The only other person who isn't affected by this time loop. Chad's like, thanks, Golden. Thanks for giving it that voice. Now I can lurk and, yes, really focus in on the content while you're just like... Hey, Ryan. Yeah, this is the rogue like they're working on. And uh I'm mixed. Mixed. Mixed, mixed, mixed. No, Simlish is clear. Baradum, Kumran Snara, Valeran Scoop, and Abarakuta Barada Krindo! Krindo Mango! That's Simlish. Um the <laughs> That's just like having a mask on your face. That's Pyro speak from Team Fortress 2. Where's my combo? And he continues the last... Okay, he always continues the combo and the last hit is like... Even though I try to really press slowly, okay. <laughs> I swear like you're getting me hit because of it just let me dash man Slicing dodge. Performing an acrobatic dodge hurls daggers. Oh, good. But does it work during Oingo Bargo? <laughs> Did I... Am I using it? I am. I'm not seeing the daggers, but it's working. Hey, Gizag. Do the maps really change? I think they might change just slightly. Um, the resin again. Boring. Yeah, it, it does. There it is, yeah. Okay, Nemesis. There we are. No, no, no! I'm spamming dash after I try to jump there. Is there any way? Let me 
Is there any way? No. Ledge grabbing, if there's an enemy on the edge, is just like designed to be impossible to deal with. That is not good. You're not supposed to like be afraid to even approach the enemies on the ledge. We've tried many variants right now to try and see if we can understand how to effectively dodge a ledge grab issue, but... I'm not seeing it be very likely. There might be one, but it, it's not... Um, what's it called? It's not intuitive. And I'm trying to spam dash. I tried to jump away there. That still got me hit. The other way would could be like to just ledge grab and go right down again if possible. If, but I think that if you jump, he's just going to jump up anyway. It's like, th this is important movement mechanics. This is flow of the game. There's, there's a certain, certain vibe here that it's missing. Like, you are going to compare this to like having a Dead Cells smooth game. This is not hitting the marks. I know it's early access and, and all that stuff, but you need to nail the engine down. Dead Cells did that. <laughs> what the setup you have there? You, okay, you must concentrate. Look at this medallion. It's a Jorovia medallion. My people make these when they pray for. So you're behind this magic. These medallions really are useful. You are very powerful, which is why you should learn how to use them properly. It's very noble of you to help me like this. I can even make new ones for you. And for a few spirit glimmers. Will you tell me your name, so that I may thank you properly? My name is Pat- <laughs> Wait, I forgot his accent. My name's Patsy. Thank you very much, Patsy. This will be a- oops. The text kind of like- I'm trying to like skip to the text, but some of it is automatic, and some of it just pops up like that as well. I mean, it's early access, but it's it's 10 days. What can I say? It's 10 days. Maybe they pushed like a really, really new and patched version. No, but they wouldn't do that. Why would they give us this to showcase? That doesn't make sense either. Since you invoke the words back me to flash, I cannot unsee it. Feels like a new grand style. Yeah, that's the thing. The, the, when it's zoomed out, that's fine. But when we're doing this, it's playing like the Gladiators game. That's everybody's playing. Um. Of course, swallow the kazoo this morning. <laughs> It would need some to cook. Ah, yeah, but come on. Don't cook a game that doesn't feel good. You need to feel good first, and you cook the you cook the content. Make it feel nice, then cook content. Don't cook the game engine. Okay, one more go. Most of this is I'm not trying to really get that far. I'm trying to like have a nice movement mechanic. I need to figure out, like, can I move and have fun playing, pushing the buttons? For now, there are moments that I really like it. And if I could skip Oingo, I would definitely skip Oingo. But look at the distance you can get if you're just dashing, right? Look at that mega distance you can get. Look at that. Fight distance. But instead... Boing. <laughs> so if a dude's casting like a, a, a missile like that, I mean, I'm not dashing. I'm barely safe. And if there's somebody else dashing, casting it behind me, it's not going to work. I can try out this one. The last blue suns. Ooh. Nice. So we've gotten the same abilities all the time. Do they have... How many do they have? Do they want me to unlock everyone? I mean, it's probably... You unlock and find them later on. But it would be cool if it's more than like eight. <laughs> it's the same. This is 
effective way to dodge you. Just a normal jump should work. It's not, it's not bad. It's just like, you're trying to... Okay, we got another ledge situation here. Oh, he actually jumped down. Okay, well, I guess we don't have a ledge situation anymore. If you didn't expect Dead Cells similar quality out of this one, this would be fine. This would be fine. But that's not the... That's not what we're setting up here, in a way. I feel, at least. Hey, normal. Hope you're well. Small sack of stacks. So L1 doesn't do anything, right? It seems like you can't currently change. For the gamepad. <laughs> yes, yes you can, okay. I was just looking weirdly, okay. Um, so, interact, up. Button. I know it's really small. Um, wait, is it updated now or not? It is. I, I need to press L1 for that. It's a small thing, but it is, it is important because what it tells me is that when people play this one, you're not having someone that's trying to like really utilize and, and, and look like an athlete when he's playing the game, you know? Just how smooth can you make it? Because I don't see the sense of having it be the upper D-pad button because you always have to let go of movement. So whenever you're interacting with something, you have to like, oh, stop. Hold on a second. Stop. Put it there. Okay, then we can move again. It's disrupting the flow of a, a pace, a smooth pace. Which is why I feel like this has just been tested by regular game dev and for speed, uh, for, for gameplay rather than having speed and fast gaming in mind. Hey, Johnny. I can't... I don't think I can cancel out of the... That is also a thing, like... Animation cancelling. I'm being... I'm being rude. I'm being, like, really strongly about the game, but... Dead says as well, you dash down, you immediately cancel into... You dive down, you, da you dash to cancel out of it to maintain your speed. Here you don't get it at all, either. <laughs> the dash is pretty good for the daggers, but... Ooh. Don't really see the daggers happening all the time. Can I just do it here too? <laughs> Take that! And this! Oh. Oh. You know when you get like, oh, really in your nose. Woo! I think the button there is like way better Im immediately.
<laughs> they can go for a rhythm game next. They've been banging out tracks pretty good. Sticky Shield Breaker. We found a new one. Breaks the enemy shield and spreads resin. Sticky Shield stuff. to the oasis. Oh yeah, okay. So I can secure the glimmers that I get. That's good. It feels like getting that like really traditional like early 2000s whip whip <laughs> can always catch me off guard. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Valor makes the music in motion twin tracks. They do be fire. Valmont. Sounds like he wants to be a vampire. Valmont is my name. Do not worry about it. The stage seems to be si pretty similar. So for roguelite, it seems like the stages are actually the same. Just like the... Items change? Which can be interesting touch. It kind of takes away like a lot of the typical vibes of what you think of as a roguelite. But doesn't mean it, that doesn't make it bad. If you can design the stage... That just really feels good. Has good glue to it. Then you can also like get good movement and smoothness out of just playing it more often. You know exactly kind of what to do. I would still prefer more randomized stuff. I think it is randomized in a way. So it's pretty interesting to see how this is though. Because you can see like just because of its pixelation as well. Like this might be, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, this might look like an artistic choice as well. Look, look, it's pixelated. And yes, it might be that. But if you consider, like, programming, this is mostly what they're, like, it's way easier to program when you're working with less space like that. So they're amplifying it after they put the building blocks in, in place. So if they're working on procedural generation in any way, then turning it into a pixel, a very small resolution size like this, looks like a Game Boy game, right? way easier to determine the pathways and what instantiates during the um, procedural generation stuff. So it does seem to be different, but they have like major similarities that they are determined to have. Like some of the few aqueducts like run down for a specific distance and like toxic projectile. Ooh, that looks great. I'll just take it there, even though I wanted it higher. Woo! Oh. 
Yeah, the dagger, the dash to dagger thing is damn strong. Just dash constantly and get the thing. Got some sound doubling sometimes, you get the same. You get two sounds of the stab, unless it's like the enemy's stab hitting at the same time. Hey, Swedish Nick. Thank you. At least, um... <laughs> those are, like, unfortunate things, but that happens in Dead Souls too. It's just like, if you're hasty, you might just get fucked. I don't like it, but it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's partly on me. Just like, dashing into distance unknown. You might get screwed. But yeah, at least when I change the interact button, instead of the pad up, at least it's actually smooth though. You don't need extra. It's not like the character needs to like pick it up like, oh, hmm, I got it. And then you can move on. So at least that is good. Toxic dodge as well as the dagger thing could be awesome. Um, could be there. Ow! Help! Uh oh, help! Didn't get the toxic one out of there, though. I like this uh, funny uh, jumping puzzles every now and then. I guess it's easy to dodge the... I guess the idea is to kind of go like this. To dodge the arrow guys. Instead of, like, trying to... How fast can I just... If I... If I do this instead, is that a way to get up faster? No? Okay. Try to see if I can just like cancel into the wall grab. I'm still pressing up now. I guess I miss a lot of the stuff by just running forward. It's like a puzzle. Woo! Ah! <laughs> ah, stop it! Woo! Woo! What a new way to deal with the with the jumping puzzle like this because you can just grab onto any wall. Am I supposed to go up here? No, that's oh yeah, I am. of Persia.
<laughs> was supposed to climb back up again? I guess I am. <laughs> this feels wonky. There we go. We got it. Slicing kick. Cannot be crafted. Because I found it. Kicking an enemy back at least five meters hurls more daggers at them. Uh, it'll take this one because I don't want that. I'm dying though. Oh, the outer ramparts. We haven't been here yet. How are you all doing today? Chat? You okay? Chat, be chilling. Reminds you of the Lama Lana sigils at this point. You're sleepy. Oh, hello. Well, this could be more complicated than I thought. <laughs> you, you fell right into my trap. General Brood, the Unstoppable. Not working, so pretty good. Good to hear, good to hear, boys and men. That was General Brood. He was a big old brute. Poor guy. He's got to do it all over again. Yeah, well, what about my parts? Where is it? I'll nail it for this ritual. Could care less about your tricks. Where's my pot? Sukra? Hey, kid. I'll be with you in just a moment. There's something I need to do right now. Allow me to repeat. This ritual shades you from the power of the prince's bowlers. But I did indeed borrow your pot. I oh, knew it. You broke my pot. I see. What ritual are you talking about? My prince, have you noticed anything different outside this enormous structure? Feels like my bola is resonating. Very much so. It seemed to me that it would be wise to shield the oasis from the bola's powers. This is why the people here won't be affected anymore when you go back in time. Hmm. That may well come in handy. I think I've seen what I want to see at this point though. I think this game needs to cook. A little bit more. Uh, it's going to be releasing in like 10 days. And most likely. Hopefully into early access. It's got good style and panache. But there's still something lacking in the... Uh, like... The smoothness of the game. How fun that is to click all the buttons. It is generally fun. But I also feel like my character is not doing exactly what I would like him to do. And the speed is like, it seems like it's there, but then there are a little too many things in the way of getting that speed. And also it's weird that they have like 
some button input that didn't make sense with the interact which is a small it's a small thing you could change it but the reason why i make note of it is because like the button doesn't make sense to be there because it slows down the gameplay having to go from your analog stick because like you don't play this with the d-pad you play this with an analog stick so you have to switch button presses whenever you have to interact with anything to stop moving and that's just like how did you guys figure that out have you guys just been playing with this the old times where everybody just like whenever you want to touch the thing in the game you just stop so the the devs are chill you can't have chill you gotta have speed how's the ledge grabbing thing was weird where it's like if they're on the ledge i don't know if we can actually get this guy will just die immediately also like how do you actually approach this guy because now I got him, hit him, but otherwise he hits you. You can shoot him down, and that's good. Can I kick upwards? No, not really, so. So yeah, there's a couple of, uh, there's a few things that that's off. And you can say like, yeah, but it's like, it's not even, it's early demo. And I can understand. But they are releasing it soon. So it has to be kind of worked on, is my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that was Prince of Persia's, um, the Rogue Prince of Persia. It's coming soon on Steam at least. So if you want to check it out, I don't have a link or anything, but check the Steam thing out. So let's do something else.